What are the laws on dividing property in a Nevada divorce? My name is Daniel Wiapi with Vegas Divorce Pros and we are a divorce preparation company that is located out here in beautiful, sunny, and awesome Las Vegas, Nevada. So if you are needing a divorce, a separation, an annulment, make sure you guys go to the link that is right below my finger or above the finger above my figure okay and uh, go to the website you can call us or text us at the number that is on our website and we'll, we will be glad to help you give you a free 15 minutes uh, divorce consultation and just see what you need help with all right that being said you guys make sure you share this video with your friends or your colleagues anybody that is needing a divorce we're not attorneys. We can't give you legal advice. None of the information that's on our website or the videos on this YouTube channel shall be construed as legal advice. Now that we have all that good stuff out of the way, let's answer that question, all right? What are the laws concerning dividing property in a Nevada divorce, okay? So, as you may know, boys and girls, depending on how much uh, you have actually been trying to research this out, Nevada is a community property state, all right? So some of you may be asking, okay, well, Daniel, what does that mean, a community property state? It means this. If you have a divorce and you and your spouse do not have any type of agreements on how you're going to split the property in your divorce, what the judge is going to do is he's going to take his or her hand and they're going to go ahead and just split it right down the middle just like this you see how my arms going maybe it's not perfectly right down the middle but you get my point okay so the house split in half okay the vehicles split in half retirement plans split in half bank accounts split in half the dog split in half okay they're not gonna split the dog in half but you get what I'm saying all right the judge is going to split everything evenly all right now what are some types of scenarios where the judge would typically not uh, split your property in half, okay? Typically, what's going to happen is if you have entered into your marriage with a prenuptial agreement, you guys, and you've stated, hey, uh, should we get a divorce? X, Y, and Z will go to her. A, B, C will come to me. We'll divide retirement plans 35, 25 this way or whatever that way is. As long as those prenuptial agreements, you guys, don't break any law or leave anybody in a bad financial uh, situation or in distress, what the judge is going to do is he or she is going to honor the prenuptial agreements, okay? Also, if you and your spouse have come to an agreement on how to do uh, split up the property, divide the property up, then the judge is going to honor that as well, okay? So if you guys are doing a joint petition divorce or an uncontested divorce, then whatever you guys have come to an agreement on on how to distribute the property, the judge is going to honor that, okay? Or if you guys have what's called separate property and it's not community property, then that property is going to be yours, okay? So you're probably asking me like, okay, well, Daniel, what is separate property okay i'm glad that you asked separate property are going to be things which uh are property or assets that you may have either owned before the marriage okay so let's say you bought a house and you know let's say you bought the house in 2010 okay and it was in your name only right and then you got married in 2015 to your love right you're like oh we're gonna get married we're gonna stay married forever and that didn't happen, right? Because you bought the property, you guys, before the marriage, okay? And you kept the property in your name, you didn't add your spouse onto the property because you're smart, right? That is going to be considered your separate property, okay? Or let's say if you get an inheritance, okay? That is going to be considered separate property too, okay? So if grandma dies, you know, God bless her soul, and she gifts you um, let's say $2 million, okay? That's separate property, okay? That is yours, okay? Or if you get some type of injury settlement, then that's going to be separate property as well. And then any type of income that you get from that separate property is yours as well, okay? 
The thing is, you don't want to mix and match, um, let's say, property or funds or money that you have, right? That's separate. You don't want to mix it in in your community property, okay? Then your spouse can, you know, contest or fight that that is part of the community property, okay? But again, that's not legal advice. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys. Um, any other property besides what I just mentioned is typically going to be lumped up into the community property uh, pots, okay? So if you guys have any questions on how to divide your community property or if you're needing help with your divorce, you want to get a free 15-minute consultation, make sure you go to our website right here below my finger and we can definitely help you, okay? I'm not sure if it's below here or below there. It's one of these places below my finger, okay? So anyways, Daniel Wiafi, Vegas Divorce Pros. Hope this helped somebody. We will see you at the top.